Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to discuss different search algorithms under heuristic search techniques of AI. So as you can see here, we have so many search algorithms that we are going to discuss in detail in this video. So now let's just start the session. So the first algorithm we have is hill climbing search algorithm. So basically students, hill climbing search algorithm is a local search algorithm that works iteratively that works iteratively moving to the best neighboring state to maximize or minimize a goal function all right its variant that we can use in artificial intelligence are simple hill climbing another variant is steepest steepest ascent hill climbing another is the stochastic hill climbing all right so all these are very very important if we talk about simple hill climbing method so it evaluates one neighbor at a time and moves if it's better otherwise it stops working there for example finding the highest point on a terrain map another type is steepest ascent hill climbing so it eva evaluates all the neighbors and moves to the best another type is stochastic hill climbing it randomly selects a neighbor to evaluate reducing the risk of getting stuck in local maxima i told you na ki hill climbing search method is an local search algorithm that works iteratively all right so all its variants can work in a similar way If we talk about hill climbing search algorithms example, in eight puzzle game, the heuristic could be the number of tiles out of place. Hill climbing might get stuck in configurations close to the solution, but requiring counter initiatives moves. All right. Next type we have is simulated annealing. So simulated uh, simulated annealing extends hill climbing by allowing occasional downhill that moves to escape local maxima. Remember this point that escapes to local that moves to escape local maxima. Its key components stimulated annealing's key components can be its temperature or its cooling schedule. If we talk about temperature component, it controls the probability of accepting worse state, it decreases over time. And if we talk about cooling schedule, it determines how quickly the temperature decreases. All right. The traveling sales problem, the traveling salesman problem is its example. All right, students, next time we have is best first search algorithm. So uh, this algorithm uses a heuristic function to prioritize exploration of the most promising nodes. Its variants are greedy best first search algorithm. Another variant is A star search algorithm. All right. If we talk about greedy best fit, best first search algorithm, it prioritizes the nodes with the smallest heuristic value. Heuristic, smallest heuristic value. All right. And its limitation is it may not find the shortest path since it ignores the cost so far. And if we talk about A star algorithm, its example is a grid based map. And it computes the shortest path by combining the distance traveled and estimated distance to the goal. All right. Another is IDA that is iterative deepening A star algorithm. So it combines A star with depth first search. Remember this point. IDA basically combines A star with depth first search algorithm and it performs iterative depth limited uh, limited searches and increasing the depth limit based on 
function value. Its example can be puzzle solving. Puzzle solving idea is reduces memory requirements by using depth first traversal while ensuring optimality through A star's heuristic principles. All right, so this is the basic definition and example. Another type is recursive best first search. As you can see here, I have also added one table here where you can uh, compare all the types as hill climbing has no optimality. It has no completeness. Memory usage is also low. Strength is very simple and weakness is struck in local maxima as it works in local scheduling uh, form. Okay, so you can compare all the algorithms. So as we are talking about recursive best first search algorithm, it is a memory efficient version of A star algorithm. All right, if we talk about IDA star, it is a combination of depth first search plus A star. And if we talk about recursive best first search, it is a combination of a star, it is a memory efficient version of A star. All right. And RBFS basically explores nodes recursively and backtracks when the current path exceeds the cost limit. For example, if we are going to solve N puzzle, okay, if uh, solving N puzzle efficiently in memory const constrained environment, RBFS uses the heuristic of misplaced tiles or Manhattan distances. Another is genetic algorithms that is GAs. So heuristic search inspired by biological evolution. Here genetic algorithms involve solution by applying operations. It uses some operations like selection operation, like cross over operation and mutation operation. All right. It has some steps like first step is initialization, another is selection, another is crossover and a fourth step can be your mutation. Last point we have is ant colony optimization that is ACO. So ant colony optimization simulates the behavior of ants searching for food. As its name implies, it's related to ants that are searching for food using from Mont Rails to guide the search. All right. In the TSP, if we talk about TSP, ants deposit pheromones on paths proportional to their quality, that is the shorter path, and over time, better routes attract more ants. All right. Other than this, we have one more algorithm that I am going to write here. That is your taboo search. So students, taboo search basically prevents revisiting the previous explored state using a taboo list. Here we create a taboo list first and it always prevents revisiting the previously explored or pre previously visited or we can say less desirable state using tabular list. Taboo list. All right. For example, in scheduling problem, taboo search avoids swapping the resources back to previous configuration, enabling exploration of new possibilities. All right, so all these are the algorithms and this is the comparison of different characteristics of all the algorithms. You must watch this, you must revise this table carefully. This is very important for you all. So I hope everything is clear till now. If you want me to continue the series, definitely you can comment below. Thank you so much everyone.